So, hello and welcome to my fourth uh, run-through of uh, the chapters of Tales of Monkey Island. If you didn't catch my last episode, I'm gonna... I found a video that pretty much sums up what happened in the last chapter. So, let's see it. So, this movie contains spoilers about the previous captures, chapters, so if you have seen those, if you haven't seen those, you shouldn't watch this. I wonder what happens in... Tales of Monkey Island! Part 3, Lay of the Leviathan. Hello, my name is Gabba Threepwood. Oh, a sword. Oh, Morgan. Guybrush Threepwood. You are... Well, you know... No. I want you... Not this time. Hey, look, a t-shirt. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a rich man with a Swordmaster t-shirt. That's right, go get it. Oh my, I must have given it to me. Oh, problems off. Winslow! Manatee! Oh, rude! Oh, Manatee! Hey guys, I've got the t-shirt! Manatee! Oh, it's gone. Now it's meaty and dangerous out here. That's because we're in the inside of the manatee. Blah, blah, boring talk. Let's find the sponge. But how will you do this? It's meaty and dangerous out here. Watch and learn, Mr. Winslow. Oh, a plank. Oh, the floor. Hmm, looks meaty. Oh, air. Guess I'm able to breathe. Oh, so many space. I could build a fire station. It will fit because everything is red. Oh, tell me where it is. Breathtaking. Yeah, but it's meaty and dangerous out here. That's right, straight <laughs> Who is this? Over here, mortal. Oh, could it be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Murray. Oh, how are you? I have the biggest headache I ever had. Really? Oh! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is so cool. My brush! Hey guys, look, this is Mary, my good old friend. Stop it! Okay. I'd like to remember you that we have to get out of what? here. What? Out of what? We are in the inside of a manatee. What, really? Well, finally somebody knows where we are. I hate you. I love you. Uh, sorry. Is that the anchor? You still have the anchor! Oh, a rope! You fed it, haven't you? Let's climb up. Mary, grab the rope. You do have another hand, you know. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, a huge uvula. Figures. Maybe that's the key. Use Mary with uvula. What's that supposed to mean, mortal? Oh, sorry, I was thinking out loud. Mary, grab the uvula. Oh, why don't you use your anchor with... Oh, whoops. Ah! What have you done? I uh, have absolutely no idea. I told you it's me, dear day. Oh, Yo ho ho! Well, ship happens! <laughs> well, anyway, will this actually happen? Find it out on September 29 in the third episode of Tales of Monkey Island. Lair of the Leviathan or Manatee or Big Fish, whatever, uh, get my telltale. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened in the third chapter. So, in the fourth chapter called The Trial and Execution of Guybush Threepwood, we will begin this now. While searching for a cure to the pirate-afflicting Pax of Lechak, the fates of Guybrush Treepwood and Morgan Le Flay are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much to Morgan and Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a genuine friendship between the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive Pax curing a Sponja Grande. But Guybrush learns too late that it is the wise pirate who prepares for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the scientific clutches of the Marquis de Sange.
Eight, twenty-nine, thirty thousand pieces of silver, mon petit chouchou. Just as we agreed. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go, and I'll pay you double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Scrapewood. Back on the Narwhal, I've got an entire kitty full of cold, hard IOUs. <laughs> Sweepwood, you grossly underestimate the value of that which curses through your body. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. That's why my spit alone once won me 8,000 pieces of eight on Booty Island. Then you should die knowing that you gave a priceless gift to science! <sighs> Finally, I've got the Sweepwood, I've got the formula, and soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal! Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly! What is this? Ah, it's a welcome back party! I hope they brought ice cream cake. I brush Tripwood. We've been waiting a long time for this. Hey, why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This cracker croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! You test tube tinker and talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. You! After him! Hey, I brought you Threepwood, and you paid me. We're done here. We'll just see about that. Having been found guilty of our charges, you'll be taken to the nearest ship and keelhauled well, until your ravaged skin myself. hangs in tatters from your bleeding. Guilty? But I haven't been charged with anything yet. <laughs> you haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? Right here, Your Honor. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Your Eminence, but old Stan had to inflagrante his delicto. And there was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea weasel, and get on with the charges! I've got Grog waiting for me at Club 41! Of course, Your Immensity. Your Honor, pirates and wenches of the gallery. Hey, that's us. This evening I will prove beyond a scintilla of a shadow of a doubt that Guybrush Threepwood is guilty of no fewer than four heinous crimes. I thought there'd be three. Firstly, that he did knowingly engage in a bar fight that horribly injured the beloved feline of local pirate elder, Hemlock McGee. Hey, it's too good for it! Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Krebs. Hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counterfeit porcelain power pirates. It's all about spreading the box! And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine ex belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. Captain Threepwood, having heard the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? <laughs> I plead 1,000% not guilty. Especially that last one about the X. Very well! Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty defendant has entered a plea of not guilty! Now, 
Who would you like to represent your pathetic case? I guess I'll represent myself. Captain Threepwood, are you aware of the old pirate court saying? The pirate who represents himself in court has a soon-to-be keel-hauled fool for a client. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and I am that fool. Fine! Your move, Counselor! Here's your briefs, kid. Hey, hard tech. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. If it pleases the court, I'd like to call Bailiff Hardtack to the stand. Bailiff Hardtack! Oh, that's me. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Oh, I suppose. Bailiff Hardtack, could you tell the court about your claim against Guybrush Threepwood? Well, uh, back on Spinner K, <coughs> I was getting ready to bury me modest chest of treasures, you see. My collection of spaghetti strainers, my silver paprika shaker, and so on. When all of a sudden, this three-foot bloke runs up to me, waving his arms and telling me to look out for a three-headed monkey that's right behind me. Well, naturally, I turned and looked, but there was nothing there. <coughs> when I regained my composure, Threepwood was nowhere to be found. And worst of all... Yes? He dug up my perfectly good ex. It's ruined now. Oh, come on. He's all yours, buddy. So, this is clearly a lie. Mr. Hardtech. You say your ex was ruined when I allegedly dug it up. I. It looks pretty good to me. Oops. <laughs> That's not so good. This whole story about your ex is a big fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. Come on. Oh, you got me, sir. But why? Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without a job. <coughs> oh, I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. Granted! Bailiff Hardtack! As punishment for wasting this court's time, you will be compelled to wear Lizzig's wig of foppery until such time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste! Sexy. Ooh, it's delightful. All that. <laughs> All right. So let's see what do we have here. I'd like to call Joaquin Jacinto de Meara Alfonso de Oro to the stand. Joaquin de Oro! Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? See? Si? Senor de Oro. Capitan de Oro. Yes, of course. Why are you here today? I was recently arrested for trying to sell a counterfeit Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate figurine. A counterfeit figurine. 
crafted by Guybrush Threepwood. Actually, that, that wasn't so surprising. Your witness, Counselor. I'd like the witness to give their expert appraisal of this ring. Objection, relevance. That piece of evidence has no bearing in this case, Threepwood. So you claim that I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, created this stunningly realistic counterfeit porcelain power pirate figure. See? How can you be so sure? Because it was made from one of my extra pink pajamas Pierre porcelain power pirate figures. One that disappeared right after you visited me. You see? It's got my name stamped right there on the bottom of its foot. Huh. Well, what do you know? Also, that so-called killer karate katana is actually a cheap porcelain grogatini sword from Club 41. And I know for a fact that you are the only person to order a grogatini that day. Ah. Okay, enough with the power pirate, okay? Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Aye, aye, Your Honor. Well, at least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Now to break out of here, find a lane and use La Esponja Grande to... Hey, what happened to my cool voodoo sponge? All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs. That I know of. Then they'll be auctioned off at Yebay. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Hey, guard! What do you want? I want to see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Fine. <laughs> uh, this... All right, counselor. Judge Grindstump says you got five minutes. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. I hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed at this ungodly hour. I need to know how my case is going. I haven't heard from you in days. Not to worry, old bean. I think I can talk the judge down from drawn quartering to drawn 30. Fraud! Guard! I'm quite done with my client! I'll get you, Threepwood, if it's the last thing I do! <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Threefoot. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. Think nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good grog? Club 41's right over there, sir. Who? You! Doro? What happened to your eye? I tell you what happened to my eye, smarty guy. When I dug up that phony dark ninja Dave you planted... Allegedly planted? Allegedly planted. I got a speck of dirt lodged in my eye. A week later it got infected. And Dr. Descent had to cut it out. Yeah, I just bet he did. Now I need a glass eye. Why do you want a glass eye? An eye patch is much more piratey. Eye patches are so last month. All the cool pirates are getting scary glass eyes these days. The hooks are still cool, right? I guess, but you really can't beat a glass eye. What are you in for? I got arrested for trying to auction a counterfeit Dark Ninja Day figurine at eBay. eBay? You know, that day with the auction thing. Oh, yeah. Luckily for me, Stan got me a reduced sentence in exchange for my testimony against you. Me? What did I do? You were the one that made the counterfeit Dave in the first place! Oh yeah, that. Look, 
I'm sorry about the jail time, but you've got to stop testifying against me. I've got a wife and scores of pirates to cure. You're going to cure the pox? Eventually, yeah. Oh, I like that. All these pox pirates are always making fun of me for not being poxed. Well, come on then, let's do some business. Maybe. What can you offer me in return? How about I get you a glass eye for your eye hole? That sounds interesting. It's a deal. But I knew there'd be a big noisy butt somewhere in there. I want a really cool glass eye. And what, pray tell, makes a cool glass eye? It has to have a really cool color. Like the color in the eyes of those nasty poxed pirates when they're really, really angry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll see what I can do. Associating with hardened criminals like you can't be good for my legal situation. I'm out of here. Adios. Stan? Kybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you out and about, kid. Hope they haven't been treating you too badly in the Huskow. Well, there is a pretty scary looking rat in my cell. At least I hope it's a rat. Well, that's just swell, kid. Look, could you get out of the way and make room for some paying customers? Stan, about these charges. Sorry, kid, can't talk. Conflict of interest, attorney, pirate privilege, and all that stuff. But la 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 la, not talking to you about it. I know I'll kick myself for asking, but what sorts of trial souvenirs are you selling? The question you should be asking is what kind of souvenirs am I not selling? Behold, the People vs. Threepwood Collection! Hey, a little me! That's right, Threepwood, a faithful reproduction right down to the lacy garter belt. Hey, I only wore those once. It is I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. That sounds nothing like me. Yeah, I know, to be honest, your real voice didn't focus test all that well. What's that? That, my piratey friend, is a little novelty I like to call Draw the Beard on the Guy Brush. Using the power of magnetism and iron shavings, you can give Flotsam's most notorious criminal an infinite array of amusing and degrading hairstyles. Observe. What the? This one doesn't have a magnet. And look, it's leaking iron shavings. This is what you get when you use shoddy Fat Island labor. On second thought, say no more. See you in court, Stan. Hey, that's pretty funny. That lamp is leaking oil. Not just any oil. Manatee oil. Oh, that's not right. I wonder if Club 41's changed its restrictive policies. Guess so. Ah, Club 41. Nothing screams pirate bar like the aroma of moldy grog sprinkled with just a hint of sea spray and shattered dreams. Hmm. I will double your quadruple rate. Keep your gold, silk pants. You can't afford me anymore. But you must break Sweepwood out of jail and bring him back to me! He is the only one who has the poxalicious strains that I need. You're a little behind the times, Demange. I'm pox-free and fit as a fiddle. See? <gasps> Impossible. Nothing's impossible when Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, is involved. And after I cure my wife and everyone else... I'll... Wife? Yeah. She was standing right next to me when LeChuck exploded, so...